Well, hello there, everybody. It's UXW Bill here. And we're having a beautiful, beautiful Sunday, April 3rd, 2011 today. It is so wonderful out here. The high temperature today was some 81 degrees, which is kind of ironic because I was talking with somebody on uh, YouTube about that and uh, mentioned that it wasn't shorts weather here in Illinois. Well, today certainly would have qualified, although it's been very, very windy today. And I was actually out uh, perusing the farms trying to make sure that uh, nothing bad was happening, that no, none of our new steel roofing was blowing off or anything along those lines. And I was out at one of the farms where I've got the Reliant Wagon stashed and I discovered that uh, on one of the sheds that's old and falling down, it's kind of windy here, um, one of the sheds that's old and falling down has got electrical service to it and uh, some of the wiring, the neutral had come undone, now one of the hot wires has broken off and the other one's not far behind and I don't know if they're actually carrying power or not, I think they are. And so I need to go out and I need to move the Reliant Wagon because if the last hot wire gives, that whole mess is going to fall on that wagon. It might start a fire or even worse. Now for those of you wondering, this is a different camera that I normally use. It's not the Key Keeper's iPhone. It's not the little Panasonic camera. This is actually a garage sale find. This is a Sony Cybershot DSC-W55 that I found at a garage sale. Finally it came into a charger for it. Its little battery seems to be good, or at least it's working well right now. And um, it had a stuck lens. The lens wasn't working quite right, but now I think I've got it fixed. So now all I have to do is I have to figure out where it is I put the battery for the Reliance. This is out of the red rocket. Go out, put it in the Reliant wagon, and then actually go ahead and move the car. All right, now, it just so happens that the key keeper, he's out of state right now. And maybe even a little bit out of mind, but hey, aren't we all? <laughs> anyway, the key keeper, while he was away, he left his Pontiac here. They took the Park Avenue down to North Carolina, and I believe they are there now. So he's probably got the internet, if not on his computer, then probably on his iPhone. So he'll probably know about this soon enough. I think I'm going to take ye old supercharged Bonneville out to service the K-Car and move it just because it's such a kick in the pants to drive this car. It really is. Um, and lest you think I'm taking advantage, he left the keys on the seat with the instructions that we could drive it if we need to. And I'm pretty sure that I need to drive this car. <laughs> so here we go. I think I'll turn the radio down so I don't get serenaded by whatever terrible music he's listening to this week. And given that it's 81 degrees out, I also give an official report on how well the air conditioning in this car happens to work. So let me get my seatbelt on and get underway. I love it when all those indicators light up in that car area over there. That's a pretty cool. That's a pretty cool vacuum fluorescent display, anyhow. All righty. Well, something funny's going on. I don't think the blend door on this car is working right because it's putting out air in the dash, but occasionally that temperature's blinking, which indicates a malfunction. And it's not putting out air that's as cold as I think it ought to. I better watch this. I better not speed. Local cops love to hide through here, which is stupid. It's low-hanging fruit, but, you know, what are you going to do? Tell them they can't do it? I'll be out to the farm in just a minute, though. All right, now the wind noise is probably horrible because I'm out here at the farm now and there's nothing to stop the wind from just doing as it pleases. But you can definitely see the problem here. You can see the neutrals hanging there. One of the two hots is pulled free and the other one's probably not real far behind. And they could just smack right down into this car. I want to make something perfectly clear to all of my viewers. This is the kind of situation that could turn dangerous very, very quickly. Electricity is not something you want to trifle with, especially not something like this that can probably stand to deliver a couple hundred amps of AC current right to your heart or something like that. So if that fell on you, you could really be in a bad way. So I don't recommend that you consider doing something like this yourself. It's always far better that you play it safe and you contact the utility company, especially on a windy day like this one, because it's just not worth some stupid old car for your life. Now, I put some mouse bait in this car, and it looks like I found one. I'm not the world's strongest stomached person, and I forgot my shovel. So now i got to find something to clean it up with. I'm 
know if there's a shovel out here in any of this junk or not. This is the building I was talking about. And you can see just how much trouble it's in. In fact, we've already gotten everything we cared about out of here, except for the tractor. But this part's still reasonably sound for very small values are reasonable. Anyway, I'll just have to see if I can find a shovel or something like one in this mess. After that little encounter I had last time with whatever it is running out from under the seat over there, the last time when we raced this car against the key keeper's big brown piece of crap, I decided I didn't really want to have a repeat of that. I'm not particularly afraid of mice and rats and stuff. You know, they don't bother me and I'm not bothering them. But the simple fact of the matter is, they're as afraid of me as they can possibly be. And they might mistake part of me, such as my pant leg or something, for a nice safe place to hide. And then I am, to use a technical term, probably going to go completely apeshit. So anyway, got the battery hooked up. Let's see how much of the electrical system these little devils might have eaten. As soon as I find the keys here. Of course, I don't have the key keeper with me, so I'm probably kind of off my form, you know. Alright, let's see. Well, drop them on the ground, will you? Drop them on the ground. That's always a good thing to do. Look at this. Next week I'll talk to you about my life and times as a high school janitor. There we go. Alright. Well, gee whiz. Now I dropped them on the floor. <laughs> well, why don't I just uh, come back to this when I've got it in the ignition, you know? Okay, let's try again. Oh, we got a buzzer. They didn't eat the buzzer, at least. I know some of my viewers will really like that. They didn't eat the instrument cluster gauges, and they didn't eat the radio. I wonder if they ate the headlights. Nope, headlights are working. Okay. I'll let the fuel pump prime itself a little bit here. Then I'll start it and see if she'll move. I should have known someone was filling in for the key keeper. <laughs> you haven't got any jumper cables in that wreck, do you? I think I need some jumper cables. <laughs> yep, bizarre furhead and I are just holding the hat down, the fort down, not the hat. Although you need to hold your hat down on a day like today, too. Uh, you got tools? No, I don't have any tools. Oh. I came out here very well prepared. <laughs> That's okay, I have a whole brain. I'm just not using it for very much. I don't think all the tools in the world are going to help, bud. Maybe she's dead. Oh, well, what a naughty reliant. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to go get the battery charger, because I didn't think this battery was that bad. I had charged it about a month ago, but I guess the gremlins ran it down. And being in a stable of GM vehicles, all we've got are side terminal ones. So, how'd you figure out I was out here anyway? Oh, that's right. I tell you what, that's really coming true in spades right now. You need to stop getting so much mileage out of that. All right. So we got a bad situation, and we got a worse situation. <laughs> the bad situation is those two wires are about to pull in too, and I don't want them landing on this car. Oh, the key keeper, he's always taken such good care of my stuff. I'm pretty sure this has been sitting out here in the rain at least once already. I guess I'm going to have to get him back while he's in North Carolina. I think we're going to farm his Pontiac. <laughs> well, there's pretty much the only, only the one thing left to do now. Bizarre Furhead says hi. And that's just to let this battery charge. Come back out here in a while. See if I can move this car and get it to start. So I'll be back. Well, I'm really hoping that this battery charger has managed to bring things up because it's just come to my attention that there is a thunderstorm watch out and given how warm it was today compared to how cold it's been, I could definitely see that being a real possibility. And it might be the final insult for those wires up there. So I'm gonna hook the battery up to this car and hopefully it'll be strong enough to start it and let me move it out of the way because I really don't want those wires to fall down on it. All right, it's kind of dark so you can't really see too much, but turn the key on here. 
Got a clock, got some indicators. Cycle it a few times. Let's try and pump the fuel system up. Prime the air out of it at least. Let's see if she'll start. Oh yeah, it's running. Running pretty good too. Headlights. Of course it always runs well when it's cold. So when it heats up then it starts losing compression. So while it's running well, I guess I'll see if I can't get it moved. Let's see if the radio works here. Oh, AM. What you watch on TV. All right, we're up and running, radio's playing. Probably better turn that down before the record people get unhappy. Let's see if this thing will move. Got good brakes. Oh yeah, she'll move. All right, we'll get her out of the harm's way here. Ooh, a fly. A fly walking around on the door. Isn't that clever? All righty. Beautiful. One of these days, I hope I can get around to giving this car the attention that it deserves. Well, it's very, very windy out here now, and you can probably barely hear me. But there it is. It's definitely been moved. So pull the battery out of it. Take the old S10 back into town.